So I'm just adding on a little bit of my concealer. This is my whole objective for doing the skincare routine that I'm sharing with you today. My little experiment for 30 days, I wanted to be able to do just concealer on my skin, touch up on the little areas of redness, have this beautiful skin, being able to show up more confident. So I'm gonna be telling you all about it next. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I wanna share with you what I've been doing with my skincare. This has been a big issue for me really in the last four years. I've been talking about it on my channel. I've been having so many different theories on what's going on, what have you. But I wanted to do this experiment for myself and invest in one skincare line. I had a couple of products from the skincare line and I really wanna simplify right? I've been an esthetician since 2000. 24 years ago, we didn't have this many products on the market and how confusing it is to the consumer. In my opinion, I feel like everybody on YouTube is like talking at you and showing you all these like triggering thumbnails about, you know, women, it's always women, right? And it's always men behind these, these thumbnails, doctors and chiropractors telling you, you know, you got to change, you got to do this. You can't look old. You can't listen. I am all about improving my skin and that is according to me. I don't care what everybody else thinks. I wanna feel confident. I wanna reduce inflammation. I wanna reduce my pigmentation. I wanna take care of my skin. I don't wanna eradicate my wrinkles or my fine lines or whatever it is. I want my skin to look beautiful. I actually just did my whole routine. So you can see I have this really beautiful glow to my skin. And I think my skin has improved immensely in only 30 days. So that was really my why. I wanted to feel confident without makeup on. I just did a photo shoot the beginning of February for my brand and it was a beauty shots. And I was like, oh my gosh, but I had been a week into this and I could see a difference with my skin and I was thrilled. So I wanna just show you, this is just educational purposes. This is not sponsored. I don't do Botox or fillers or any of that advanced treatments. I don't do skin needling. I don't do any of that. So I took that money and I put it into skincare. So that's what we're going to discuss today. Now, the skincare line is La Mer, and I've done so much research that I hadn't done before to really find out more about luxury meat science, the history of the company. I knew that, but like the science and the, the research and development, which I think is very interesting. And you know what else I think is very interesting is I was listening to this podcast and I was listening to this doctor, Dr. Riviera. She's this SVP of La Mer. She went to Columbia. She has her doctorate in uh, neuroscience. She was talking about how the global brand president, the global head of marketing, global head of research and development, and the global head of science are all women. So I found that to be very empowering that they have so many women in the front of this company behind with all the science and the research and the development and everything. So that was really neat. So this line, you know that I love bringing you vintage <laughs> vintage products, not only with my style, but also obviously with my makeup. I've also researched some different lines that I've showed you with Clinique that one time about the whole history of the black honey lipstick that I did. This line was created in 1965 by a scientist, Dr. Max Hubert. He had an explosion in his lab. He burned himself and he was on this mission to find an elixir that would heal his skin. So that's basically what he did. He turned to sea kelp, he, this giant sea kelp that when they cut down, it grows two to three feet pretty rapidly. So it's this bio-fermentation and a whole process that they do. And I thought that this was really interesting because the biggest thing that I wanted was the anti-inflammation. I wanted to bring down my inflammation, I wanted to work on my pigmentation, and I wanted to work on the texture of my skin. Now, the under eye area of losing the fat, there's a whole big movement over on TikTok with the girls talking about how there is this lash serum that was not transparent about its ingredients. This ingredient is a drug, it was not supposed to be used in this product and does cause fat loss in the orbital area. Could be, could be part of my problem because this started happening to me in 2020. So it makes sense, but I have a product that I was researching and I'm using, I'll share with you today, that is to build back the fat in that eye area. So I'm gonna go through with the products that I bought that are new to me, that I've seen a difference. This is my research. You can do your own research. Again, it's not about telling you what to buy. I've done dupes on La Mer. If you wanted to research my library of videos, you can go and see the dupe. It has a lot to do with my grandmother and you know her skin always looking so supple and so hydrated and so just so beautiful. So that's what I want for myself. I want my skin to look like that in my 70s, 80s, and 90s. And I go back into my mid-20s with my 
just kind of revelation of La Mer and seeing a woman when I was shopping and I went up to her and I've said this story before on my channel and I asked her what she used on her skin because I had just became an esthetician. I was so fascinated. I was like, she looks so good. That skin is unbelievable. I have to have skin like that. And I said, what do you, what do you use if you don't mind me asking? And she said, I use La Mer exclusively. And I thought, you know what? All right. So mental note. So this has been something I wanted to do for a long time. I've never used a whole line of theirs like this. And I was very excited to do it. So I first start off with the foaming gel cleanser. Foaming cleansers I don't like, and they don't have the oil anymore that I used to use. They don't have a gel cleanser. So this was what my only option was. And I have to tell you, I love it. It's like, this cooling sensation on my skin. I use it morning and night and it's uh, hydrating, but yet it's not stripping my skin. And I was really surprised because I felt like it was going to be, but that's what I use first. I go into the treatment lotion that I've had. I had this product before and I put it on my hand and I push it into my skin. I don't put it on a cotton pad. I push that into my skin really hydrating. That's what I was really concentrating on is just getting that moisture into my skin. So once that dries, I will go on to my hydrating infuse emulsion. I bought this and really wasn't sure like what it was going to be like, but it's like a milk. It's really, really light and it just feels incredible on the skin because I'm, I'm layering with light products, right? You always want to go from the lightest product to the heaviest product, but I'm layering these beautiful products in the morning. It's just like the tall drink of water for my skin. And so that feels really good. So that I could stop there if I wanted to. I, every day I figure out, do I feel like I need a little bit more or do I need like maybe, maybe I'll just do a little swipe of the resurfacing treatment. This is really interesting because I've always had, not always, as I've been in my forties, I've had this texture right in here and I do not like it. So I was always looking for something that's going to exfoliate my skin, but I didn't want to use a granular physical exfoliant. I wanted to use more on a chemical level. So this is what that is. The resurfacing treatment has a low pH. It's going to help with resurfacing, tightening my pores, clarity to my skin. You can use this morning and night. I was, and then I added in another product for night. So I only would use this in the morning if I felt like I wanted to. And then at night, I put the micro peel. This is really interesting. You shake it up, push down, and then it comes out like this. Just the right amount of product. And this is going to help resurface the skin also. So I don't want to do too much, but it's not that really intense tingling. Your face doesn't get red or anything like that. It's really nourishing to the skin. Again, this Miracle Bra is in all of their products, every single product they put out in the market. And what I found really interesting from my research is that every Miracle batch, Miracle Broth batch, they take a drop from the previous batch and they put it into the one that they just made. So there's like this beautiful synergy of this Miracle Broth that is connected from the very beginning. So I thought that was really just interesting. It's handcrafted. It's not something that they produce thousands and thousands of that, that I think is a misunderstanding. A lot of people think that it's just a ton of product out on the market. I mean, it's a very patient, long process of doing this craft. It's really, I mean, from what I was researching, it's very beautiful kind of story on how this comes to life. So now I have the La Mer cream, the creme de la mer that I've always had that I will put on at night if I feel like it, or I'll just put on the oil that I have. And then I have the sunscreen. I mentioned this before in some of my videos. I really like it. It's an SPF 50. It is a chemical sunscreen though. So the price point is very high, but it was something that I needed to want to stay in the same line. And the other product that I'm using, I got on Amazon is called cosmetic. It's called Volufoline. It's a cosmetic booster. So this is to help with this fat loss situation going on underneath here. I put it in the labial folds here. I put it on my neck too. It's a booster. You have to put it into a cream. You can't just put it on by itself. And they haven't done a ton of studies. They have an internal study where it says that it increases fat volume by 2.2%. Listen, I bought this full bottle. You can buy a smaller bottle, but I went all in. I use maybe a quarter of it so far. I will use it until the end of this bottle and then I'll report back. But I have seen when I wake up in the morning, that's my biggest testimony of are these products working? Because when I look at my face in the morning, I'm like, okay, this is looking good. I'm seeing an improvement. I see more clear skin. I don't see looking 
so tired and just dehydrated. And, you know, a lot of things were just kind of creeping up and just kind of getting worse and worse. And I needed to really focus in on the skincare morning and night and do that. I did get a little uh, plumper. They came out with some colors, the, the lip volumizer. I got this in pink. They did change the doe foot. It's smaller, which I don't like, but this is a little bit of a lip plumper that I will put on at night. And I did pink because I wanted to see if it was different than, I mean, if I was going to get any color, I really don't. But then I put on my facial patches. I know this is not a skincare routine for the week. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm really serious about it. I have been doing my non-invasive patches for my forehead for, it'll be going now a year. I love these. I found them. It's over a hundred year old company. Again, vintage. It's a woman based company. I love it. It does work. If you stay consistent, I put them on my forehead. It becomes like this cast. So I can't, you know, make any of these frowns or, you know, just intensity when I'm sleeping and I love it. So that is kind of the routine. Of course, I would put my gua sha in the morning or at night to really help with my lymph flow, get that blood flowing, really sculpting my face. And then the only other thing I do is I use a little of the Shad Takai. I know it's outside of the range, but this is really just a spritz. It's the Rose de Mall, pure rose water. And I'll spritz that on my face um, morning and night. And it's just really beautiful. Now, my big takeaway from, from doing this and investing in this is how I'm actually feeling on the inside. It's a bonus that I'm seeing results on the outside, but it's about that taking care of myself and doing my ritual and being consistent with it morning and night. I had so many things coming at me and so many products that I was supposed to be trying and I was just all over the place. I love the fact that this is the collection. This is what I'm using right now. I don't have to worry about a million other things right now. And I, I got a handle on my skin. My skin is under control and I'm really enjoying that. So I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing, what, what I wanted to do for myself and to increase my confidence and to really combat what was going on. I hope that helped you. Any questions, please ask them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them. I didn't want to get too technical into all the ingredients and what have you, because I just wanted to give you the overview of what I was using, because I've been mentioning that a lot. I'm really enjoying it. And ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.